The Davies Craig LS Series Block Adapter Kit has been engineered to replace the belt-driven mechanical water pump. Deleting the existing mechanical Iron Age water pump from the front of the engine block also frees up valuable space, allowing for the installation of a high-performance 14-inch or 16-inch Davies Craig Thermatic electric fans. During the product development phase, a prototype LS Series block adapter kit was installed on a HSV Club Sport along with an EWP 150 electric water pump and LCD EWP fan digital controller. Prior to installation of the adapter kit, the Club Sport was put to the test on a Dyno Dynamics Dyno providing a baseline. A rigorous road test lasting many months followed the installation before the Club Sport returned to Dyno Dynamics, where the most noticeable improvement was throttle response. Designed to suit GM Generation 3 and 4 small block engines, including LSX, the Davies Craig LS Series block adapter is beautifully crafted, easy to install, and comes with all the components required to complete the conversion. Before starting the installation, lay all the EWP block adapter kit components on a bench to ensure the kit is complete. Step 1. Assemble the EWP adapter backing plate to the adapter block using the gaskets and screws provided, with two bolts inserted into the adapter assembly plate, one gasket on each side. Once the gaskets are in place, install a spacer on top of each and align the mounting holes. Then install the spacer gaskets. Secure all components firmly. Step 2. Secure the various half-inch NPT and three-quarter-inch heater hose fittings on the assembled housing. To avoid leaks, we recommend using thread tape or sealant. Step 3. Install the 12AN inlet fittings into the ports on the left or right-hand side of the EWP block adapter to best suit your vehicle. Once the inlet fitting is installed, Take the 12AN inlet plug and install it into the remaining port. Step 4. Install the minus 16AN outlet fitting into the port on the front of the adapter. Step 5. Disconnect the vehicle's negative battery terminal. Step 6. Remove all the plastic trim covering the radiator with a screwdriver and the air intake assembly. Step 7. Remove the radiator cap. Drain the engine coolant into a clean vessel. Then remove the single drive belt from around the pulleys. To remove the drive belt, rotate the tensioner to relieve tension on the belt using a ratchet or spanner. If you're still struggling, try using a breaker bar for more leverage. Step 8. Remove the mechanical water pump. Retain the six mounting hardware bolts as these will be used to secure your new EWP adapter block. Hang on to the radiator hose too, as it may be required to complete the installation. Step 9. Clean the surface on the front of the engine block before installing the new EWP adapter. Place the spacer gasket and spacer on the back side of the adapter. To align the gaskets and spacers accurately, insert the mounting bolts taken from your old mechanical water pump. Step 10. Install the entire adapter assembly onto the engine block, securing using the six mounting bolts. Step 11. Install the new belt tensioner screw. First, remove the top alternator bolt and retain. Remove the mounting bolt at the rear of the alternator if applicable. With these bolts removed, loosen the lower mounting bolt to allow the alternator to move. In most cases, the alternator will not fall out of place. When this is the case, you will need to rotate the alternator out of the way so you can install the new tensioner. Assemble the screw tensioner and install into the top hole of the alternator using the retained bolt. Using the supplied bolt, install the L-block onto the alternator. Place the flat and spring washer on the bolt and then tighten the nut. Do not tighten the nut all the way just yet, as we will need to set the position of the L-block first. Install the L-block using the bolt and nut provided. Route the belt as shown. For high or relocated alternators, a different size belt and different routing may be required. 
Then install the drive belt provided. Tighten the nut till it is flush with the L-block and then tighten the alternator bolt so the L-block is rigid. Holding the nut stationary, tighten the tension screw until the nut and tension screw rotate together. To apply tension, loosen the screw while allowing the nut to rotate freely. Tension will only be applied when the nut is rotating. Once you are comfortable with the tension of the belt, check that the set screw is not going to contact any of the threads of the tension screw. Tighten to lock the tension screw in place. Finally, tighten the bottom alternator bolt to lock the alternator in position. Step 12. Assemble the heater return adapter. Use Teflon tape as required and secure the half-inch NPT and three-quarter inch heater hose fitting. Remove the adjusting nut and O-ring. Replace the adjusting nut over to the second thread and then place the O-ring in the groove. Screw the heater return fitting into the inlet of the EWP. After a few turns, locate the fitting in the desired position and tighten the nut. It is important that you check the O-ring is correctly fitted, otherwise it will not seal. Before installing the EWP, make sure you have the right shape hoses. For this installation, we reused the top radiator hose and added an elbow fitting, part number 1024, and two 90 degree hoses, part number 8505, for the bottom hose. To install part number 1024 elbow fitting, first the O-ring needs to be relocated to the front side of the nut. Following the same procedure as the heater return, you then screw part number 1024 into the pump outlet and tighten the nut once it's in the correct position. Step 13. Install the electric water pump to the LS engine. Place the 90 degree elbow hose over the EWP adapter inlet along with the two hose clamps. Once the pump is in place, locate the heater return hose and connect it to the return adapter on the inlet of the water pump. Take the remaining heater hose and push it onto the 3 quarter inch fitting on the adapter block. Place the other end onto the bottom radiator outlet. Insert the thermal sensor and adapter for your EWP combo kit into the top radiator hose and reinstall. Tighten all hose clamps. Step 14. Refill the radiator with a quality glyco-based coolant. It is important that you do not run the EWP until the system is full of coolant to avoid running the pump dry. Step 15. Refit the air cleaner assembly and the plastic trim surround over the radiator. Step 16. Run the engine up to operating temperature. Check all hoses and fittings to ensure they are all secure and leak-free. When the engine cools down, remove the radiator cap and check coolant level. Top up as required. Step 17. Road test vehicle for at least 10 kilometers. Return and allow to cool down. Recheck the coolant level and recheck radiator hose connections. This advanced Davies Craig EWP block adapter allows LS owners to enjoy superior engine cooling technology using Davies Craig Electric Water Pump EWP and the LCD EWP Fan Controller Combo Pack.